ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I mean, we see that all the time. Darnell Boone, Deshaun Johnson. These are guys that are like good fighters. And for whatever reason, maybe uh, their personality, they don't want to just take fights managerially wise or maybe money situations. But you see these guys. And that's why I tell people there's lots of young fighters I do interviews with always know who you're fighting when you fight them because some of these records are not built the same 10 and 0 can be the same as 0 and 5 and 2 and 10 can be really a, a 7 and 0 fighter if they were handled properly yeah yeah correct totally you know and that, that, oh, that go ahead. what are you guys doing with the movement that you were just saying before i really interrupted no i was saying why we we moving Floyd correctly, letting him grow because he only 18 years old. So he's gonna have challenging fights, but he has to study the fighter. We make sure that we gotta study tapes and find out the flaws that the people make in their strengths. You know, uh, I hope that the boxers that's watching they don't just jump in in a fight without studying their opponent because people could die in that ring. And if you go in there and underestimate an opponent, they could cuss his record, but you don't watch his style, you'll be in trouble. And so that's why he study all the time. So tell me about this upcoming fight. What's this upcoming fight gonna be like? Um, just kind of break it down. This is the very beginning of your career. Um, just what's going on? The upcoming fight is actually, is it next week? Yeah, on the thirtieth. Yeah, next week, and I plan on the same outcome that happened in my pro debut. What yeah. happened? Just... Oh, knocked out in the first round. So he got up out of there. You made him. Oh yeah, you got him up out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the first minute and a half. So his fights, he have um, one in Mexico on the thirtieth, January thirtieth. Then February nineteenth, he has a fight on Adrian Brown the card. In Ohio, and then March fifth, you have a fight on Telemundo. Okay, and, and that's, that's also pen, like obviously that's assuming everything goes well. Like I don't want to, you know, like we don't want to say you're looking ahead one fight at a time. But like if everything stays the course, which we believe it will, then there's that already a a lot of activity going on. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, just because, you know, sometimes people take words out of context. So I just wanted to put that in there because people get very creative with their own interpretation of words. So going into this uh, Mexico fight, it seems like the impression is you, you want to get a little round in, but you're trying to get this man up out of there and be on that AB card. Yeah, I, I don't want to stay in a fight, you know, a bunch of rounds if I don't got to, because I know I got the uh, abilities to get him out there early. But I'm not gonna go rushing anything because I'm, you know, set it up. You're not gonna underestimate him. Yeah. You're gonna touch. You're gonna see what his range is. You're gonna see, and then you're gonna say, you know what? It, you've stayed too long. You gotta get <laughs> out of here. I'm gonna go. You yep. haven't paid your rent. You haven't paid your rent. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta leave. You know, you know what they say? If you don't pay the power bill, then the power goes out. So maybe it's something like that. But, yeah. um, I guess what I'm also asking is. What would you say is your elite world class trait as a fighter? My elite world class trait? Mm -hmm. I got everything. Um, really? I mean, That's I, what you got that. <laughs> Go ahead. I can't really pick one because I got a lot of stuff that I like. So I would say everything. Uh -huh. I would say his IQ, his boxing IQ, that he could figure an opponent out in like 30 seconds and know their weaknesses. And like, if you watch his first fight, he knew that if he threw to the side of the kid, he was going to make the kid move to the left. Yeah, he right walked into right the into it. He went right into it. So he's good at setting up his shots at a fast pace. And he has a lot of speed and his feet is a good attribute. Oh, and I too. appreciate God for my power because my power is ridiculous. So really? I think so. <laughs> I think so. So you okay. do, you throw away some punches to walk guys into shots. You're that yeah. kind of thinker. So you're like, okay, he's making that adjustment. Or do, are you watching if someone drops their lead jab? Like if they're throwing it and they bring it there or like the old, uh, what was it? Johnny Gonzalez, Abner Morris, Abner baited on the thing. And then all of a sudden that opened up a left hook. So you're watching like that. Yeah, that's exactly. 
Okay. I like that. Those are the fighters I enjoy watching because when I watch boxing, I'm watching for that. And if guys aren't watching for that, it's not as fun for me to watch because it's like, ah, oh, man, you're, 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 you're not doing what I'm trying to watch. You're just kind of doing like yeah. punch guy. So that, yeah. that's cool that you're doing that stuff. Um, any Emory memorable story from the amateurs or any memorable moments from the am 